I'm Sam Bory, Communications Assistant at NHS Borders. Hello, my name is Adam Collins and I'm a junior doctor in NHS Borders. My name's um, Gordon Nicko, I'm a senior biomedical scientist at the Borders General Hospital. Hi, I'm Jenny and I'm a domestic assistant. I'm Melissa and I'm a midwife in Labour Ward at the Borders General Hospital. Hello, I'm Abby Anderson and I'm a staff nurse in uni at the Borders General Hospital. Hello, my name is Katrina, I'm a Band 6 clinical pharmacist. Hello, my name is Erin McGregor and I'm a paediatric speech and language therapist. Every day varies from tasks ranging from dealing with the media to liaising with our staff to keep them informed on what's happening in the organisation. Ultimately, my job is to maintain and protect the reputation of NHS Borders. Every day is completely different. We could be looking after somebody in labour, having their first baby, second, third baby. I will usually be setting up our analysers and doing the daily maintenance. And once the daily maintenance is complete, we have to calibrate the assays and perform quality control. Most of the day we are ward-based, where we answer queries from doctors, nurses, patients. Also, we screen discharge letters and we check all the medicines which are prescribed to the patient. We also cover dispensary slots and final release of intravenous chemotherapy or antibiotics which are prepared in our aseptic unit. Every day is quite varied for me. Um, that can include working in nurseries or in schools. Um, offering advice to education staff or other professionals, uh, working directly with families, um, teachers, teaching assistants. I work in the A&E department at the Borders General Hospital. Most days are busy for us. My role can be coordinating, triaging, running resuscitation rooms. It can be different on a daily basis. We have to coordinate regularly with members of the team and also with the wider hospital. The best bit about our job is getting to see and interact with patients and being able to pull together the plans that really help them to improve their health and to get them home. I enjoy the satisfaction knowing that the ward is clean for patients and relatives and for the nursing staff to work in. The positive thing about the job is that I, I love science and I love tinkering with equipment. I really like that every day is different. It's fast paced, it's challenging and I get to interact with a wide range of people. You're always having to be professional, so at times it can be difficult to keep your emotions at bay. You're seeing a lot of different things, so um, sometimes going home at night and you're carrying that emotion with you, it's quite hard to let go. It's important to remember that not all pregnancies end happily, so that I suppose is the major negative part. But even in that, it's a real privilege to be there and to make sure that these women get looked after well. It can be quite difficult to juggle. Uh, working with families, working with kids, um, fitting in all your admin as well. Um, also you have to have quite a broad range of skills. Um, no two children are the same so you're constantly researching and learning new skills. You have to have a high attention to detail. You have to be a people person as there's a lot of interaction with the public. You certainly need to have a really good ability to speak to people, to communicate to people and to help people communicate with you and to share their problems and their ideas. First off you need to be a registered nurse, so for me I went to university and got my degree. You learn skills on the job, it does depend where you work as to what qualifications you need, what courses you're put on. I kind of fell into the NHS after completing my BSc Honours degree um, in biochemistry. I didn't really know what I wanted to do for a career and kind of fell into an NHS lab. I had already been working for NHS Borders for nine years previously and I applied internally. I applied for the job online. Volunteering is the best thing you can do. Uh, find an area that interests you, that might be working with older people, um, might be working with the little ones, or it might be working with learning disability. I would say that if you feel that you've got an interest in pharmacy, uh, just contact, get in touch with us or with your local pharmacy. 
and this will allow you to get more work experience. Your school may have a social media page or a newspaper. Why not ask to be involved so that you can get some experience in drafting media releases or drafting social media content? You write to the head of midwifery here at the Borders General Hospital and I've got work experience in the community with Community Midwife and Ward 17. There are three really important things about applying for medical school. First is that you need to make sure that you've got the academic qualifications to allow you into the medical school and usually those are set as absolute minimum so you need to hit those targets and you need to hit them well. The second thing is that you need to make sure that you're not the sort of person who is utterly devoted to academics and doesn't do anything else. The final thing you need to do is go and get some work experience. Come to NHS Borders, go to your nearest hospital, even go into care homes and nursing homes in the community and find out what it's like to interact with and look after patients. So if you're looking for a job at NHS Borders, go on to Scotland's Health on the Web, also known as the show website, for a full list of our vacancies.